Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Brian and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to delete an undeletable file or write protected file. And you may be getting this sort of error message popping up where it says access denied or, or something like that, it's write protected, you can't delete it. Now these are normally, uh, as I said, if you know it's a virus and you want to try and delete the file and it won't let you delete it, then this method I'm going to show you will delete the file. Now bearing in mind, uh, you've got to be a bit careful because obviously if you delete a file that you need, there's no way of getting it back. Once this, once you've deleted it with this method, it's gone forever. So, saying that, I've already made a video of this before, but the quality was pretty poor and people were complaining they couldn't see what I was doing, so I made another one. So let's get started. The file that we're going to be deleting, mainly all virus files will be in System32 mainly, so you can see the file here, virus.exe. Now this will be a right protective file. When you try to delete it, it won't won't be added to delete. Now yours might not be called virus.exe, yours might be called something else, but um, I'm just using that as a, that's the file that we're going to be getting rid of. So the first thing you need to do is go to start, run, and in the run bar, you type uh, CMD, like so, okay? And in there, we want to type our command. So we need to go CD space backslash and that's going to take us back to our root directory now I'm going to type CLS which clears the screen that just gives us a nice clear screen so we can see what we're doing now we need to get to the actual folder system32 folder in our command prompt so what we need to do is go CD space um, Windows okay and then backslash and then system32 okay push enter and this will put us in our system32 folder or directory. So now we've got, we know we're in this directory, we can now actually type up our command to delete the file. So what we need to do is type del space uh, forward slash q space forward slash f. Now these switches are, uh, say you don't q it, just delete the file and f is for false. So basically you could just leave the q up there if you wanted to, but q and f is fine you can use what switches you like but I mean they're the main ones to, to, to actually get rid of the files so I'm going to actually now put another space and then type in the actual file that what it's called so mine is called virus like so dot exe that's the file that we want to delete so there's our command now you don't push enter at this stage because we need to do one more little thing we need to open up our task manager now you can do that by right clicking on the task bar and clicking on task manager or you can push control delete now once we've got that open this is our task manager we need to look for explorer okay so look in, in the actual bar down here for explorer it's under processes and you want to have a little look to see if you can find explorer and once you've found explorer like so you push end task now when you push end task all the uh, bar's going to disappear and everything else, but don't worry about it, we'll start it back up once we've deleted our file. Warning will come up, just say yes to this, like so, and now our bar's gone. Okay, we still got our rocket dog, but don't worry, worry about that. Okay, now that's gone, you need to click back on your um, command prompt window, and you can see the icon flashing in there. We're just going to push enter at this stage and you should get the other line come down now the file the command has been accessed and it's now gone so what we need to do now is go back to our go to file new task and then type in there explorer okay dot exe or you can just type explorer whatever you want okay so that's what you type in click ok and that will bring up your task bar again now that's the uh, command now if we look in system32 you'll find the actual file is gone so basically windows back down to system32 it's right down the bottom there and you'll find the file is now gone okay so basically what you need to do now is keep doing that to all the viruses that you find manually you'll get a, if you know where the file is it'll tell you on the your actual virus scanner when you actually look at the command line it will say this is residing in system32 or in a C root directory or whatever then you can actually delete those files okay 
I hope this has been some use to you. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching my videos. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment or email me. If you've got any requests for videos, please give me a message and I'll try and do my best to make one for you. Thanks very much. Bye for now.